How's it going guys? Welcome back to you know the Booga Booga video. Now I know I said I wasn't gonna make this video, but I decided, you know what, I kinda want to. Uh, now after watching JJ Gaming's uh, Egg Hunt video, I wanted to make my own because his was kind of in a bad order. You know, his video kind of had you running around the map several times, which would probably take hours and hours to do. So I wanted to make the same video showing you where all the 50 eggs are in the Easter event. However, I want to do it in a bit of a more efficient way as JJ Gaming kind of had me running in circles, not gonna lie. So the first egg is underneath one of these trees. I actually forget which one it exactly is. I think it's underneath the swall tree. Yeah, so the first egg is underneath the swall tree. Now, I already had two, so I'm gonna show you where those first two are in a moment. But we're gonna start off this sort of walkthrough at the islands, the sky islands, because um, I think that's just the easiest. So yeah, when you go to rope, the big swall tree uh, is where the first uh, egg is gonna be. Right, and then the next one, I already got it in my other uh, Easter event video. It's on this little island, uh, right next to this feather stone. There should be one egg, so it should be like literally right next to this stone right there for you. Now the next one that we're gonna show is actually right, um, in the miserable god, I think. So I think if you come to the waterfall below the miserable god, you can sort of see right inside of him there's an easter egg, although you can't quite reach it, so you're gonna have to mine him, unfortunately. All right, so once you've mined him, you can just quickly grab that, and you may as well pick up the crystal. Nice little bonus for you. Now the next one is actually slightly tricky to get, as you might miss, but as you can see, as you're looking down this hole, the hole in the main island, you can kind of see an egg down there. You kind of have to Oh, I fucking missed. Well, there's kind of an, uh, <laughs> an Easter egg in that hole you have to kind of get. You have to be careful, though. All right, let me try that again. You kind of got to place, like, a dock or something part of the way down, and you can just kind of land on it. And then if you can place a dock right below it like that, then you can kind of stand on the top of it, and that's the fourth egg. I know it says fifth, but there's one more that I'm going to show you that I already got. All right, so you're going to have to go to the Sun Island for this next one. Well, actually, for the next few, you're going to have to go to the Sun Island. Alright, so the next one is actually on this little st stalactite slope thingy. Now, I already got it last video I made on the Easter event. But uh, yeah, you're gonna have to jump down onto it and hopefully not slip and fall in order to get to it. And oh my god, it's Dottie. You kinda scared the shit out of me, what the heck, bro. But yeah, you're gonna have to jump down onto that stalactite to get the next one. Uh, and after you get that, that should be your fifth. And then uh, your sixth is gonna be literally right here on top of this sun tree. So you just get this one, and that's six. Very, very nice. So there should be another one right behind this dead branch, right here on uh, this the dead branch thing. And I think that's the last one on the sun island. But the next one is actually going to be um, on the crystal island, as you could possibly imagine. So you're gonna need at least one spirit key for this. Uh, this one is actually inside of this petrified tree that Darty just mined. Uh, right here on the, like, the sort of leftmost one. So let me just quickly boing and grab that one. Alright, so the next time, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna jump down off the island. And we're gonna head straight for that little island. If you guys don't know about that, that is, um... Ice Dave, which, uh, we actually made a video mining Ice Dave with my good friend Darty, as you can see. I think he was a part of that. Look, he's even got some of the secret eggs, which is kind of, kind of crazy. He's got the jungle one, I think, which looks very snazzy. But yeah, the next egg is right here on Ice Dave. It's actually upside down, which I think is kind of a funny, a funny nod. <laughs> I don't miss this place, he says. Yeah, we spent a long time mining this thing. <laughs> Give him the chills just thinking about it. Literally the chills. Alright. Once he hops back on, we're gonna head sort of to the main land of the uh, ice biome now. Alright, so here we are at the giant. If you don't know where the giant is, um, it's right like in the back end of the ice biome. The ice biome is right here, as you can see. And it's basically just sitting on this little blue bank. And you get 300 coins, officially, after completing 10. And, um, yeah, congratulations, you're officially, you're officially, uh, what is it, like, 20% done? Let's go! Woohoo! So for the next egg, we're actually going to be heading uh, as far north as we can, away from the giant, as there's one in the Barbarians, and there's one more, um, sort of, uh, you can kind of see it actually, it's on top of the middle mountain in the ice biome. So yeah, as you can see, we are passing by Shelby and Sheldon. Just straight to the north to the very end of the island with the barbarian. Now I forget exactly where it is as I kind of just have it written in my notes as ice barbarians. So I think it's in one of the tree- oh it's in this ice chunk, right. So if you go to the very northern end of this island, it should be a little bit of trees with an ice chunk. Just break the ice chunk and that is number 11. And now number 12 is going to be literally right in front of you. This mountain kind of looks like a runway. It's literally right up this runway mountain. Um, just keep going straight. 
All right, so once you climb this mountain, as you can see, there's going to be these two little bushes. And right next to it, a cute little egg. That is number 12. And so right after that, we're going to go straight down to the wealthy god, which you can see is this little yellow-eyed uh, totem ahead. And we're going to mine him, and there's going to be plenty down that path. All right, so when you break the wealthy god, there should be one. If I'm not mistaken, there should be one right inside this cave. Maybe I am Maybe I'm a bit silly. Where is it? I know for a fact there is one. Here it is. It's right next to this little um, ant mound thingy. Now once you break the ant mound, you're going to want to go down, as there's going to be a lot more in here. And I think if you go directly down this side passage, you will find the next one. Let's see, where exactly is it? Am I stupid or am I a genius? It's very hard to tell, okay? I, I was wrong, I was wrong. You gotta go through- wait. Is it not in this waterfall, or am I am I tripping, tripping? I right, sorry, sorry, I'm tripping, tripping. But you do want to go down that path, and you're gonna find. I think it's down this path, right? It's this path that it is. Sorry, I got a bit confused with my little paths. But yeah, here it is, right next to that iron. That is number 14. And I think the next one, if I'm not mistaken, is in the waterfall. Okay, it's not in the waterfall. It's in one of the waterfalls. I right, so basically, you're gonna just want to keep going straight down this path. Uh, down the ant the queen ant path. If, if, you, if you're not familiar with these caves, then this might get uh, very confusing. Um, as, you know, even I, who, are, who am pretty familiar with these caves, get kind of confused by it. But just keep going straight. I'm gonna try to edit out as little as, as I can. As I know, this path can be pretty dang confusing. Now, I know that there's one um, in the queen ant tunnels, in these tunnels, next to like a black ant mound. If I'm not mistaken, it might be this one. Let's see. Okay, I was mistaken. It's not behind that one. So just keep going back down the regular path that I kind of passed up. It should be down one of them. Oh god, this Dottie. God, this place is a maze. It is a complete and utter maze. So don't go down that yet. Because I think there's another path we have to go down before we go down that one. Sort of a, like, red herring, almost. Um, I think it's this way. I'm pretty sure it's this way. You gotta find the path that leads down. Here it is. Alright, sorry guys. I think I'm completely and utterly wrong. Um, I am actually tripping, as a matter of fact. Ignore what I just said. And just forget about that whole uh, shenanigans. It is actually down the path that you're supposed to go down to get to the queen ant. So I'm um, basically just gonna want to navigate around these tunnels until you find this. This is like the actual way down. Uh, you know, the way you can know it's the actual way down is the fact that you can't you can't get out. And by yeah, right here behind this one, behind this fire ant mound, there's another egg. That is number fifteen. Getting pretty close to halfway now, which is nice. All right, so once you break this god head, which is the way that you progress normally, you're gonna find this big open room. And on the right side, if you break one of those adorate crags, I think it's this adorate crag. You can actually see it poking out, but I think you have to break the adorate crag. This is your next egg. The seed. Do you have to break it? Oh, you don't even have to break it. It's just behind this adorate crag. Now next, you're gonna have to break this ant mount to get to the queen ants, of course. So now once you go down here, you're gonna want to go onto a stone tower, and you're basically gonna have to kill the queen ant. Now make sure you do. Uh, make sure you do not break the stone tower like Dotty is doing. Um, if you don't know how to kill the queen ant efficiently, I have a strategy on my channel. It's a video dedicated to killing the queen ant. But yeah, basically, you're just gonna want to kill the queen ant. Alright, so she is dead. All of that loot just scattered around. Um, now on top of one of these stone god faces, it's actually this one. So you see the exit, the uh, directly to the left of the exit, um, on top of this stone god head thingy majig. You place down an iron turret, or if you just teleport using the voodoo teleport thingy. You can just get on top of him, and boom, that's number 17. Now let's just head through the portal, and uh, back home. Careful not to die on your way out, there's a lot of very tough bullies who will beat you up on your way out. Okay, so now we're at the Sun Island, so we're actually just gonna go straight towards the, um, towards the Ord God's place, directly to the left, the Sun Island. Alright, so the first one is actually gonna be in this waterfall that you usually teleport out of when you come back from the Hateful God. We're, we're just gonna get this now before I forget about it. So if you go inside the waterfall, right at the back end of it, there you go, that's number 18. And then there should be another one behind one of these stones. I'm not sure which one it is, although my money is obviously gonna be on the big one. Alright, so you break this. Yep, there you go. There's another one right behind that. That is 19. And the next one is actually gonna be inside the Ord God cave itself. So just jump down the waterfall and you're gonna want to slowly descend down really quick. Now once you're in here, if you guys actually remember the Valentine's Day event, 
Uh, there was actually two up above the waterfall thingies. Uh, you're gonna want to go back up into that place. These places are kind of annoying to navigate, but there's actually one behind in this little walkway. And this time I'm pretty sure it is actually only one. And yeah, with that 20th one, you unlock the egg particles, which uh, if you turn on, you're gonna have a little bit of eggs floating around you, which is very zesty, very zesty. Alright, so just go through the portal now. And we're actually gonna go, instead of going to the Hateful God immediately, we're actually gonna go to the desert, because there's a lot in the desert. But first, there's actually one right next to this blood fruit. And actually, come to think of it, I think it would be better off if we did the Hateful God and then came back through the Old God. So we're gonna go down to the Hateful God. And the one inside of this cave is actually um, stuck inside this Fire Ant mound. So you're gonna have to break the Fire Ant mound. You can actually completely dim, like disable it mounds with these little huts if you guys did not know. See, so yeah, I just break that and there it is right on the side. That is number 22. So just go through the portal again and we're gonna go back to the old god and then teleport back to the volcano. All right, here we are. So now we have a choice of going to the jungle or going to the desert. And I think we're gonna go to the jungle and also this island just cause it's the sort of easiest kind of. Now there is, I believe only one on this island. Now I may May or may not be mistaken. So there's actually one inside of a tree. I believe I believe it's the swole tree that you would find it in. Uh, no. So just go around breaking all of the trees. There is one egg inside one of these trees. I'm not quite sure which one. Oh, it was this one. It was this one, guys. Alright, so that's 23. Next up, we're going to go to the jungle. Yay, the jungle. So the first one on the jungle, if you go to the very left of the, like, volcanic jungle island, you're gonna see one on the beach right behind this coconut tree. This is number 24. And the next one is actually like very close by. You're pretty much just gonna wanna, well, you're gonna wanna try to scale this. Um, and it's right here at the volcanic like mouth, if you can really call it that. I don't know what you would call it. You may need to place a lookout to help you. Okay, that was a pretty, that was L placement. That was definitely shit placement. Come on, let me up, let me up. Okay, I'm a bit, I'm a bit of a, I'm, I'm, I'm a bit bad at jumping. Anyways, once you finish, oh my god, I thought I finished, never mind. Okay, once you actually successfully get on top of this, it's right here in the kind of mouth of the volcano, as I kind of already said pretty much. Now the next one is uh, as you exit past those boards, the next one is right here next to that little stone thingy. I'm kind of in this little cove, I guess you could call it a cove. All right, the next is gonna be actually on this island to the right of the jungle. Well, it's actually part of the jungle. It's like the right the right half of the jungle, if you know what I mean. Basically, there's gonna be a little bit of rubble on the top of this, like natural rubble. And it's uh, right there, nestled in this uh, this hut rubble. That is 27. And the one the, the next one is going to be in the cave below it. So there's actually a cave in this island. If you uh, come down here, one of these paths will take you to an iron node. It's not this path, clearly. But if you just keep going, I think it's this path. It'll take you to an iron node. And there should be one right next to it, right, right behind it. Right? One right behind that iron node. That's 28. We're getting pretty close now. The next one is gonna be on the second island on the right of the jungle. And you can see it, it's right underneath this jungle tree. It's uh, pretty, pretty easy to get to actually. You might not even have to break it. Just kind of hiding right inside of it. I think that's the last one in the jungle. Right, that is the last one in the jungle. So we're now gonna head to the penis island that is nearby the jungle. And you're gonna see exactly why I call it the penis island. It's actually this one. It's like really close by. It's called the penis island because it's kind of shaped like a penis or maybe it's shaped like an upside down T depending on the way you want to look at it. But yeah, when you get to the penis island, it's uh, just right smack dab in the middle. Right smack dab in the middle of it. Boom, that's 30. Now let's get back to the raft. And I think the next one is on the main grasslands just ahead of us. Right, so I think it's on this one. If you can see the arches kind of over there, it's kind of the opposite to it, opposite way of the arches. Basically, if you break the big stone right here, that's the next one. Very easy, very nice. This is actually also right by the old god for those of you who don't know. Alright, the next one, if I'm not mistaken, there should be a cave entrance in this little mound. Next one is in this cave, so just come directly over here to this little stony rock and go into the cave. Now this one is actually uh, kind of quick and easy, I think, if I'm not mistaken. I want to save most of the cave ones for last because they piss me off because they're so annoying. But if you just go down, it's very straightforward. You should see it right about here. Yeah, right behind this little stalactite. 
Boom, that's 32, and let's promptly leave this place. So we're, we're actually gonna head to the desert and do the desert once now. But along the way, there's, uh, I think, one or two that we're gonna have to get. And the first one is in this little gourd cave. So when you come here, this is like in the middle of the map, for those of you who don't know. When you come here, you're just gonna wanna go straight into like the actual cave portion of the cave. And very quickly, there should be a left-leaning tunnel. I don't think it's this one. Yeah, this is just a little cute iron node. If we just keep going straight, this should be, yeah, here it is. This is the left tunnel. Um, just gonna wanna go down this and just follow it straight. And then here you go, boom, 33. All right, the next one is in the core cave or what I call the coal cave because in OG Booga the only use it really had was coal. Basically it's right next to the waterfall and we're actually gonna do a few waterfall ones because I think there's a f quite a few actually. I, I, I know I said I was gonna do the desert but you know what this happens to be more convenient so just go straight into this little pocket that you can see and there should be one right inside. All right is it behind one of these? Uh nope am I tripping? Where is it? I know there's an egg in this place. Show me the egg. I think it's actually this way. Bro, am I, am I out of my goddamn mind? Okay, I guess I'm out of my goddamn mind. Maybe we'll come back for it. Because I think, I think I may or may not be losing it. Either way, uh, there is actually a few in the Queen Ant place that we missed purely because it was easier to not uh, get it the way that we got it. So just break these boards and I guess jump down the iron turret that is very inconveniently placed. And there's one right behind this pillar. Alright, so once we get that one, we're actually just going to promptly head back out through the iron turret that was conveniently placed by either Dati or... I think this was placed by Dati actually. Okay, I actually can't because whenever I get close, it like, it like teleports me down. I don't even know why it does that let me see if i can maybe shift lock okay you just gotta do some finesse bullshit right now we're going to go down the sleeping god path or the sleeping god cave basically if you go down this way you're gonna find these twisting tunnels and i think there's none that way but yeah basically any direction that you break these boards you will end up at the sleeping god and uh the sleeping god cave there is plenty plenty so the first one is actually kind of funny it's kind of floating it's floating in this room uh with the f sleeping god okay why are the iron turrets absolutely broke now am i crazy okay maybe i'm crazy but i can't find it do you maybe gotta break one of these oh yeah okay it's actually in that old support you have to break the old support but yeah, I just unlocked the Peeper Pop Hammer Mojo. Oh, you already own it. Okay, nice. So you, I can now make this now. Which is uh, kind of sick, actually. Very sick. Anyway, so the next one is kind of in the bushy room up this way. If you go up this ramp, there's going to be a bushy room. Now, I'm actually very familiar with these caves because recently I've been uh, grinding in them for a undisclosed reason. But if you find, I think it's yeah, right this one, behind this big bush in one of these bushy caves, there's another egg that is 36. Man, we are getting very close. But I think now we're gonna have to head back to that little waterway. And yeah, this is the waterway. And you're gonna wanna go straight until you see a gourd ore. I think it's this one. I might be mistaken, but I think it's this one. There might also be one in the waterfall. Let me just check. Nope, there isn't. But basically, if you go right to this gourd uh, and you follow the path up, not to the left, but go up. Uh, is it underneath this? It's not. We just keep going. Yeah, there's gonna be two more gourds up here. This is the place that I've never been to before, by the way, which is pretty nice. Yeah, that's number 37. All right, so I just left the cave. And now we're gonna go find that quote unquote coal cave. That I was talking about. It looks like Darty got bored and started farming uh, blue fruit, which is kind of funny. But I think the coal cave I was mentioning was actually in here, in this mountain, not this mountain. I think it's yeah, it's on this this smaller one. So you can see where I am at well re relative to the waterfall. Sorry, I'm speaking a little bit funny now. I've been recording for so damn long. But you come in here, there's one coal node, and boom, that's right next to it. Now, thankfully, these last 12 are actually really easy, so <laughs> I'm, I'm feeling that fatigue, but it's okay. The fatigue is only temporary as we are getting very close to finishing. The next one is actually right up ahead next to this coconut tree. I don't even know if you can see it right now. It should be right next to one of these. 
if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, right behind this brown coconut tree. It's actually not a coconut tree. It's just a brown tree. Uh, the next one is going to be across the across the way towards the uh, the big desert island. This little ridge. Now this one is right below the coconut tree, as you can see. This one's actually below coconut tree. This place is always interesting to me because there's like an invisible gourd node. Like there's kind of just always an invisible gourd node right here, which is kind of kind of weird. I don't know why it exists, but yeah, there's an egg right here. The next one is actually straight ahead. If you uh, come here onto this little mesa bit, I don't actually know what this is called. I guess it's kind of just like a mesa. You can kind of just barely climb it without a ladder. And then yeah, this, this is kind of like the one in, in the middle, by the way. And then you come here to this center piece thingy and right in there is 41 god we are getting so close next one is actually at the ancient god which is inside of this little mountain if you come around the back side of it all right here you go this is inside the ancient god's cave just go straight down and there's this little gourd pocket right there is 42 only eight more guys we're getting so fucking close finally right so there should be two more and you can actually see one of them if you go to kind of towards the back end of the desert well i guess relative to us this would be kind of like straight if you go straight over here you're gonna see this little bush on top of this mesa formation and yeah you just climb on top and grab it boom oh i missed it boom that's 43 and the last one in the desert biome uh, should be towards these this way you can tell i'm getting fatigued when my descriptions are getting less accurate um you can tell it's kind of this way mm -hmm. jesus man it's pretty exhausting but this is the best route that you're gonna find so it's well worth it at least for you guys it will be i think it's actually inside of this formation i was looking at these two a bit funny but i think it's actually inside of this little formation or this one. It's in one of these three formations. Uh, these little stalactite thingies. It's, okay, it's this one. So if you come over here to the far end, there's gonna be these three mesa formations. Like stalactite type shit. Here it is. And we got six more. The next one, you can see the next one is actually right on top of this mountain. Straight ahead, actually. Yeah, it's right here on top of this mountain. Very nice. Um... Next one, actually, I think the rest of them are actually on this island. I think all five of them. So the first one, let's see if I can do this from memory. I'm going to try to do this without the use of um, my notes. Also, what the fuck is that? What is this? I I've never seen this before. Okay, that was strange. Just some very weird formation. I think there's one inside this cave. Okay, there is not. However, if you go, uh, if you go past this waterway, just keep going. There is one uh, inside this portion of the waterway cave system thingy majig now the next one should be i think at the bottom of this like grass path that leads up to the top and here it is that's 47 right and the um i actually missed one i actually missed one my bad guys there's one in the emerald cave that's a, that's a bit of an oopsie the emerald cave though is right ne right nearby so it's not that big of a blender the emerald cave is right here if you see like i mean okay i'm pretty sure i'm pretty sure you know what i'm talking about come to this small island small desert island and right next to it there's this border on the mountains break the border and then that will lead you right inside and then when you, when you go down you're gonna want to take a hard right as you can see, you can go left or right, make sure you go right. And right next to this emerald, you can see the third last egg, I believe. There we go, two more. And these next two are very easy. Alright, so the, the last two are going to be in the gold ravine that is sort of in between the mountain and the ice biome. This kind of island right here with the, the little ravine. Alright, you're just going to want to hop in and go towards the gourd, which is this way. Right behind this stone, and well, inside the stone, is the second last one. And the last one I have in my notes as the back end of the, the gourd ravine island. Now, if I'm being completely honest, I don't actually know what I meant by the back end of the gourd ravine island. But I think I meant behind this mountain. Uh, I'll show you when I find it. Yeah, here it is. It is actually behind this mountain. Uh, that's the gold ravine. This is the big mountain water pass thingy that I was talking about. And here is the final egg. Good god, that took a long fucking time. I unlocked the carrot stick mojo. And the eggs have been released. Uh, which is basically the five secret eggs that um, exist. Let's see, can I even see carrot stick? Yeah, so how do you make the carrot stick? You need one crystal stick and 25 carrots. Kind of funny. 
I'm actually gonna make a video showing you the five secret eggs. I know JJ made a video on his channel about it, but I'm gonna make my own because I kind of want to now. I've gone this far, so I may as well go all the way. Thank you all so, so much for watching. I hope this video helped you out. Uh, this is the best route that I could find. Um, you pretty much don't actually ever overlap yourself on this path. Like, this is the best path. You don't waste any time on this one, unlike in JJ's, where you do waste a lot of time doubling back and everything. Well, thank you for watching. Drop a like, drop a sub, and peace out.